Now hundreds of students put their minds together in the first Georgia STEAM education competition. News Channel 6's Devin Johnson joins us live in the studio. Devin, Augusta University is changing the narrative of how people view STEM and STEAM with their competition. Calling it mind frame, right? Yes, many schools are expanding their STEM programs by adding art. And that's where STEAM comes into play. Like at the Mind Frame competition, including all of STEAM subjects, but in a way where students design things that benefit the real world. These students are being challenged to explore from outside of the classroom. More than 700 students from different cities in the two state travel to the river region to compete in Mind Frame. The mind behind Mind Frame says teachers coach students in a STEAM based approach. They can do this every day all day in their class to serve all kids, not just kids who can stay after school, not just kids who have parents who can afford to send them places to do fun things. Every kid can learn this way. Mind frame consists of several activities, spoken words, rocketry, visual arts, and engineering. The students are in teams based on schools. They work together to show judges how their project will be beneficial in the 21st century. A lot of times you might not want to learn through opening up a book. You may want to really, really learn by putting your hands to it and doing the activity. Allen is a STEAM teacher at Spirit Creek Middle School. She brought her students here to test their skills. MindFrame's coordinator tells us the teachers love the idea of a STEAM education competition. After understanding what STEAM means, they won't leave it out for STEM. You'll find that by embracing the arts in a rigorous way, they are equally as capable and they're learning just as deeply. Allen explains her students worked hard to prepare for the competition. More than 1,000 bottles were used and faulty equipment did not stop them from coming out to accomplish their goal of landing a bottle rocket on the goal line. They understand how heat affects pressure. They understand how water, the water levels. And so with all that being said, we're forging ahead. Dr. Guest plans to bring MindFrame back next year, and she hopes the competition will be even bigger than this year. Samantha? Thanks so much, Devin.